Oh, my God, it's pies like heaven. What I tell you? Clara Meeks makes the best apple pie in all Wisconsin. Clara Meeks makes the best apple pie in all of America. <laughs> I'll tell you, Pete, if I was in a diner in New York, I'd be bothered all the time. People asking for my autographs, wanting to shake my hand. This is great here. I mean, this is what I love about Waterford Falls. Nobody bothers me. Nobody, nobody asks me questions all the time. There's nobody here, Stan. <laughs> No, you're missing the point. That's why I moved to Waterford Falls. So you could eat apple pie all by yourself? <laughs> no, uh... Actually, you know why I moved here? I moved here to be myself. Well, who else would you be? <laughs> Give me another piece of pie, would you? Oh, coming right up. Honey, I would like you to meet Harriet McGibbon. What a thrill. Oh, whatever you do, Harriet, don't shake his hand or ask him for anything. Well, come on now, Pete. I can't escape it completely. I mean, people do know who I am. You're Molly's husband. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that's right, yeah. Harriet writes the What's Cooking column for the Waterford Falls Truth. And I've asked Molly to contribute her favorite dessert recipe. Oh, hey, you know what dessert recipe you should get is Clara Meek's apple pie. <laughs> They've asked for mine, honey. <laughs> What's your favorite Molly dessert? Oh, jeez, well, you put me on the spot with that one. Uh, I think it's a tie between uh, all of them. Oh, that is so sweet. But come on, you must have a favorite. Uh, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Honey, um, what about my strawberry dill cookies? Jeez, I'd almost forgotten about them. Ah, well, you know me, honey. I'm not much for desserts. <laughs> well, I've never seen anyone eat this much pie. <laughs> big city, big frown. Big city, slow down. Stan Hooper, moving to a small, small town. You know, I think it makes it so little You know, I feel pretty Hey, guys. Are you having another piece of Clara's pie? Ha! That's a laugh. <laughs> I'm eating a sandwich. Stop sniffing me! It's pie. And he definitely had a sandwich earlier. Possibly a banana. Go away from me! Well, Stan, since you were no help picking a favorite dessert of mine, Gary has suggested my pound cake recipe. I thought we could call it Molly Hooper's Sinful Pound Cake. Oh, yeah, that pancake. That's a good name for it, simple. <laughs> what? I'm agreeing with you. I mean, it's, it's so delicious that it's sinful. It's like, a, like, a, like an affront to God. <laughs> what? I'm agreeing with you. Go ahead. I know you want it. Eat your pie. Thanks, honey. Uh, I wish this was your pound cake. <laughs> Big news. Guess who has made the cover of this month's CQ? CQ? What's CQ? Cheese Quarterly. Where have you been, Hooper? It's the most prestigious publication in the cheese industry. Right. They're doing a whole cheese spread on me. You know, when something like this happens, you realize that all the time you spent working and neglecting your family was worth it. Hey, Fred, did you hear Mrs. H is going to have her pound cake recipe published in What's Cooking? No. Is it in this morning's news? Sorry, I missed that. Look. <clears throat> Here's the thing, Hooper. See, you kind of watch pictures of me and my family. You don't mind if we take them here, do you? Here? I just assume they don't know that my son is living with you. You know, CQ is kind of a traditional magazine. Oh, well, no, no, no. You, know, you can't do it here, Fred. Uh, I mean, this is my house. You know, this is, this is private. Well, why don't you just take Ryan to your house and, and do the picture there with you and your wife? Oh, unfortunately, Mrs. Hawkins and the camera are not exactly on speaking terms. <laughs> They're not photographing the house. It's just a picture of Fred and his son. And you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not taking any pictures of myself. Come on, Hooper. It'll be great publicity for you and the show. A lot of men read CQ. You'll be reaching a new audience. What new audience? I reach men? Oh, <laughs> not really, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't mean men don't watch you, but they're just not exactly your core audience. Yes, they are. They're my core audience. I'm America's every man. That means every man relates to me. I don't. 
So what are you saying, Hooper? You won't be in the picture? Brad, the only reason you want me in the picture is because I'm a celebrity. Nothing could be further from the truth. I want you in the picture because I consider us friends. I hardly know you. There is no one I feel closer to. <laughs> I'll take this picture for you, okay? On one condition. I don't want to be presented as a big celebrity, all right? I just want to be presented as an ordinary, everyday Joe. Great, the photographer's waiting right outside. What? Not now. I don't have all my makeup and hair people. Kevin, come on in. Honey, you wait in the car. You, your wife is with you? Well, I'm driving to Milwaukee later, and I want to use the carpool lane. <laughs> there is, uh... Ryan, by the way. Oh, he's up in his room with Chelsea listening to music. I'll go get them. Hooper, I'm not so sure that two young people alone together in a room with music is such a great idea. Oh, don't worry about it, Fred. They're, they're, they're good kids. You can trust them. Well, your call. I'm the last person to tell you how to raise my son. Oh, Kevin, here. Say hello to... Uh... Dan Hooper. <laughs> what a pleasure. Well, thank you, my good man. My mom's a big fan. Your... <laughs> oh, thank you. That's nice. She's uh, a shut-in. There he is. <laughs> Ryan, my son, heir to the throne. What are you doing here? Guess who made this month's cover of CQ magazine? No way. <laughs> I told you all those nights I didn't come home would finally pay off. I'm so happy for you. This has always been his dream. Now, my new dream is someday you'll be on the cover also. Father and son, first family of cheese. <laughs> Ah, Dad, please don't start. Um, Ryan wants to be a filmmaker, Mr. Hawkins. I think it's so great that your dream has finally come true for you, but now what would be really great is if you could be happy for Ryan when his dream finally comes true for him. I'm sure there's a point in there somewhere. Anyway, they want to take some candid shots, so how would you like to stage this, Kevin? Well, let's start you in front of the fireplace. Hearth and home, I love it. Come on, honey. Oh, no, honey, I don't want to be in the picture. It's your thing. It's not my thing. I don't want to be in the picture either. I look terrible. Ah, who cares? It's just a cheese thing. Come on. Look, it'll look like I have another friend. Here, Hooper, wear this. Hawkins cheese. No, no, I'm not going to wear this hat. I thought we were friends. Yeah, this isn't anything to do with friendship, Fred. I'm not going to endorse your product. It's a little thing called integrity. Oh, I understand that. You know who's a big fan of integrity? Who's that? Mr. Ben Franklin. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. No, come on. No, take it, take it. I'm not taking it. Okay. Do you mind if I wear it? No, you wear the hat. Very fine. Hey! Oh, sorry, is that your hat? My mistake. Just take the picture, would you? Now, Fred, why don't we have you on the right, Ryan in the middle, and Mr. and Mrs. Super on the left. Okay, where do you want Chelsea? Oh, the girl, of course. Honey, I'd be honored to have you in the picture, but the photographer says no way in hell. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Hawkins. I don't want to be in the picture if I'm not wanted. Splendid! Okay, if anyone you are, Kevin, let me squeeze right in here. Everyone say cheese, except you, Hooper. You can say integrity. Sorry to barge in. You always barge in. And this time, I'm sorry. But I thought you'd be anxious to see this. Oh, honey, it's Fred's big issue. Plus, don't you want to see how the picture came out? Oh, I think you do. Page 22, make sure you read the caption. Huh? <sighs> Pictured above are TV personality Stan Hooper, Fred Hawkins with his son Ryan, and Mistress Smalley Hooper. <laughs> Mistress? Yeah, I thought that was worth barging in for. I knew it. I knew it. What do you mean you knew it? Uh, Fred said he wasn't going to use me as a celebrity, but there it is. TV personality, Stan Hooper. I think there's a bigger issue here, Stan. I don't care about the shadow behind my head. They called me his mistress. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. That's just a typo. Everybody's going to know that. Well, what if they don't? What are they going to think? They're going to think you're in a loveless marriage with a cold, uncaring man and sought affection in the arms of another. <laughs> They'll understand. Or they'll think it's a typo. Everybody in Waterford Falls knows we have a happy marriage. <laughs> you can put your eyebrow down, Gary. Sam, this is all your fault. I don't even want to have my picture taken. Nobody's going to believe this. Trust me. Well, can you at least get CQ to print a retraction? Well, what good would that do? What are they going to say? I'm not a TV personality? <laughs> Holy cow, Pete. Holy cow. Where did you see the new CQ? Hey, guys. Holy cow. Hey. Hey, Stan. Hey. Just came in for a piece of Clara Meek's apple pie. We'll get you that pie. 
Hey, Pete, give me a hand. What, what, what is it? Molly cheating on Stan. Molly cheating on Stan. What? Uh, that was Apple, right? <laughs> yeah, Apple, Apple. Yeah. I, I don't believe it. Fred Hawkins and Molly. I don't want to believe it either, but she's quarterly doesn't lie. It's right here in orange and white. Ooh, you think Stan knows? Oh, if he does, he's putting on the bravest face I've ever seen. <laughs> Problem with the pie there, fellas? Nope. Coming right up. <laughs> this is breaking my heart. I'm making my smiley face with the cinnamon. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about those Packers? Oh, they're having a good season. Hey, how about those Giants, huh? Is that another team? <laughs> Some, something wrong, fellas? Nothing. No, no, we just want you to know that if ever something turns up, uh, something uh, uh, that's on your mind... That's eating your soul away! <laughs> Something you want to talk about. Right, right. This is about that CQ thing, huh, fellas? No, why? Did that come out? <laughs> come on, guys. You don't believe that. that. That was a typo. You know, a, a printing mistake. Uh, you know, it's like on your menu there. I mean, it says pork chips. You know, everybody knows it's pork chops. <laughs> What's a pork chop? <laughs> We serve pork chips, Stan. Those are those thin, little, crunchy slices of pig. Oh, Lou wanted to call them pig chips, but I thought everyone would get that confused with those big, thick pig chops. Oh, maybe that's what you're thinking of. <laughs> My wife's not sleeping with Fred Hawkins. Oh, hey, no problem there. Look, you say it's not true and we'll believe you. All right, it's, it's not true. It's not true! Stan, I just came from the beauty shop. Uh, of course you did. Look at you. I didn't have anything done. You didn't need to. I didn't have anything done because everybody was whispering about me and Fred. You said nobody would believe it. Everybody believes it. Well, come on, not everybody believes it. Just some hens down at the beauty parlor. And the dry cleaners. I went to pick up your pants today. They asked me if I wanted Fred's, too. Well, everyone's seen the new CQ? No, why? Is that out? I will sue him. I am a pillar in this community. As a matter of fact, I am the pillar. This is a one-pillar community. Hi, right, listen, Fred, calm down. Look, everybody, we got to get this thing in perspective here. I mean, this is a tiny typo in a cheese magazine. All right, it's not exactly front-page news. Oh, my God. Did you guys see the cover of this week's National Inquisitor? Stan Hooper's heartbreak shocks the nation. Wife spends her minutes with cheese mogul. Oh my God, I can't get me a tabloid. This could ruin me. They called me a mogul. <laughs> Is this true? Of course it's not true. Is it? No! It's a stupid typo in a stupid cheese magazine, and that's made it into a, a tabloid. Look at this. America's favorite everyman is living every man's worst nightmare. That's bad copy. Molly, his wife of 15 years, has been revealed as the mistress of Wisconsin cheese magnet Fred Hawkins. Magnet? Lou, is that bigger than a mogul? Uh, yeah, I believe it's mogul, then magnet, then baron, then captain of industry. This is crazy. This is crazy. We've we got to fix this. Fix it? Why? This morning I was a simple cheese man. Now I'm a magnet. Good heavens, having a mistress is improving my stature. You don't have a mistress, and don't say that in front of her. And what about Stan's stature? He's a beloved public figure. No, he's not. He's just an everyman. I, I believe it's every man, then beloved public figure, and then national treasure, and then Mr. Bob Hope. <laughs> Dad? Mrs. Hooper? Will somebody tell me this isn't true? Well, it's not 100% accurate. <laughs> it's not accurate at all, and we're going to correct this. Oh, I don't know if we can. I mean, people eat this stuff up. Handsome magnet, winsome mistress... 
Unfortunate stooge. It's a fairy tale, Hooper. It's got everything. Mrs. Hooper. Mr. Hooper. Hello, Fred. <laughs> Harry, none of this is true. Oh, I'm sure it isn't. But under the circumstances, publishing the recipe for Molly's sinful pound cake would be wildly inappropriate. <laughs> I understand. You better come home right away. Your producer called. Your mother called. Fred, your pants came to the house. I can't believe we have to deal with this. Fred, my husband is out of town Friday burying his mother. I don't have to go. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you're president of the network. Yes, yes, I, I know you know what you're doing. It's just not something I feel comfortable doing on my show. Yes, sir, I realize it's your show. Friends I grew up with probably have seen this. My nuns from high school probably have seen this. Oh, no, I don't think so. Wouldn't they all be dead by now? <laughs> Mrs. H., I thought you'd like a nice warm glass of milk. Could I have a scotch? It's in the milk. Well, that was the network. Uh, they, they say that they want you and Fred to come on my minute and, and explain it to everybody. Uh, well, what do you think? I don't want to do it. I mean, that's not what my minute's about, you know? I, I don't go do stuff about my own personal life. But, honey, everybody in America is going to be sitting there expecting you to say something. What, what else are you going to talk about? Well, I, I was planning to do my piece on lake trout. <laughs> You're going to talk about Fish? Fish. You see, that's what people don't understand. The lake trout is much more than just a fish. Hey, sorry to barge in, but I just had a brilliant idea. Hooper, I know you don't do endorsements, but what if you let me put a picture of your wife and me on our bag of cheese puffs and call them Cheetos? <laughs> see, with an E-A instead of an E-E. -E. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Like cheaters. I get it. Do you love it? No. He doesn't get it. I get it. Dad, you're trying to capitalize on this? As big as this has gotten, we'd be fools if we didn't capitalize on it. Let's face it, sex sells cheese. <laughs> Plus, it's making me a celebrity. Well, who cares about that? Well, Hooper here's a celebrity. You think he walks on water. Because he's a good man. If this was just about celebrity, Ryan could choose to admire someone a lot more famous than Mr. Hooper. Right. Like, a lot more famous. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. So, Fred, you got to come on the show tomorrow night, and you got to tell the truth. Now, why would I do that? Because it is the right thing to do. What do you and I know about right and wrong? <laughs> Fred, this is your chance to earn something other than money. This is your chance to earn respect. All right? Now, what do you say to that? What's in it for me? <laughs> Thirty seconds, Mr. Hooper. All right. I'm just going to give a brief introduction, and then let you talk. Should I open with a joke? That's what they tell us to do at Toastmasters. No, of course not. This is serious stuff. Okay. How do I look? It doesn't matter how you look. How do I look? Uh, you look sensational. Man. I can see down her top. Will they be able to tell that out there? Good evening. You know, when I moved to Waterford Falls, I never thought I'd be doing a minute like this, but circumstances dictate that I do. To my left sits my wife, Molly Hooper. To my right sits my good friend and neighbor, Fred Hawkins. Many of you... <clears throat> Fred Hawkins of Hawkins Cheese. Now, we are here... <clears throat> Fred Hawkins of Hawkins Cheese, the cheese that's sure to please... We're here to dispel the... What the... <laughs> We're here to dispel certain rumors that have been circulating concerning Mr. Hawkins and, and my wife. And we're about to address them now. Fred? Two rabbis walk into a bar. <laughs> no, Fred. Okay, fine. Look, I may be a mogul, I may be a, a magnet, but underneath it all, I'm just an ordinary man, a man who has never cheated on his wife. Thank you, Fred. Well, that ought to put the rumors to rest. The truth is, I never had the courage to. 
Okay, good. I mean, if I was ever going to do it, it would have been that one time up in Appleton. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Next week, the oft-misunderstood lake trout. I mean, that woman was drunk, falling down drunk, and still I didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> This is Stan Hooper saying, make every minute count. I'll regret that till the day I die. (laughs) 